Well, welcome to the ocean. I'm out here on a small mahogany boat. I don't know what it's made of. Mahogany, I'm with wood, my dad. Wood. I'm with my dad from TA Fishing. Um, I'm gonna put a link to dad's channel in the description below. But it is one of the calmest days we've had. It's like a glass off, isn't it? What's the what's the agenda, Dad, for today? Uh, well, most people around here, there's loads of boats out because it's been mackerel coming in, driving the white bait right up on the beach. So obviously everybody hears about that. They're on the beaches. They want to catch them because they're good food. Some people want them for bait. But a lot of boats, small boats, are out here. They're dotted all around. You probably won't see them with that lens, but they are all around us. And they're going feathering for mackerel, trying to catch a mackerel. We're going to try and catch the mackerel and put them down deep for bait for big things like giant conger eels. First, I want to try for something even bigger, a shark. And for that, I'm going to be using this. A tub oh, of mashed up horse feed bran and rainbow trout. If cameras could do smell, you guys would be puking. Smell of it, you would be. <laughs> but the secret with this is it, it dissolves quickly. I've frozen it, so it should last a little bit longer in an old onion sack. It's probably a French onion sack. It's a French onion sack with a piece of Chinese rope. <laughs> Take two. So I'm going to put it in this onion sack with a piece of rope, tip it over, hopefully not my nice trousers. My wife said, You're these looking are really not, smart. These are not my fishing trousers. I said, They will be by the time I finish with them. I was going to say, you're, you're not so much dressed for fishing here. You're dressed for a family do. I am indeed. <laughs> so I'm going to try and upend this over here. So the idea, it. Dad, is that this attracts fish to our bait, Well, right? hopefully, hopefully. Increasing your ever, chance. I don't think anybody has ever, ever had a shark from this section of the uh, coast, this close to shore. I'm of the opinion that they will come in if they get this smell. And if I just rinse that bucket out, you should be able to see there, all through here, bubbles of oil on the surface. This is fish oil. It's all natural. It's in the water anyway. They are fish and pieces of brown which soak up and take that smell away and um, not a bad thing actually on a hot sunny day <laughs> so I'm just going to make sure I tie this there's a load coming out my goodness if there's a shark around he's definitely going to know we're here this is all a bonus and it's just one of those things the fishermen do is to try something different we're always experimenting I have tried it on a couple of trips before I've caught nothing no sharks have shown but listen one day one will come. That's in this area, but you've this used area. this for all your life, really, fishing, oh, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, worked to success, isn't it? Three, four, five hundred pounders using this yeah. technique. Loads of, loads of sharks, they need that smell. A downside we got is there's not much tidal flow at the moment to take that smell away from the boat. But there's a huge cloud here, and it could also have the bonus of attracting some mackerel. But, yeah, so we've got those out. It is now 11.04. The breeze is picking up. You can see a ripple, which is quite nice in the water, just coming in there. So hopefully we get some fish. I'll update you guys in a bit. Uh, nothing. Yeah, you got match. Oh, it's tangled. No, it's a scud. Oh. Hey. Kroger's got a bit of power in him. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Brat boom, I reckon. Still there, ain't there? Mm. Boom, shorty. I don't know. Could be a big one. Mike's on a mouth mounted. Yeah. Okay, by the way, you wonder. You're going to do it. He sounds completely backward. <laughs> no. I thought you might have got this one. It's a mackerel. It's a. No. Hold on, I'm going to get tangled on it. Oh, that's a great mackerel. He's gone around a bloody okay, shark line. To the right, he's got two lines on. It's braided. Oh, he's got oh Jesus. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> I don't think it is, you know. There's a lot of lines. I think you're right, it's a doggy, yeah. Looks like a dog hoose. This is a doggy. got a fish hook trial. the tide has just started to flow we've lost a mackerel we lost a scad i just changed baits put a different piece of fresh trout on and i've got a better fish hooked up here 
Mike just had a dogfish. I've got a feeling, I hopefully haven't got my other lines. This is going to be a conger. So it's all eyes peering over the side. I know it's <laughs> He's probably going to pick one of my other lines up. I can't. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Here we go on the water. Oh, oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's got it out here. That is a greedy conger. That's one greedy conger there, boy. He's taken two sets of gear. He broke the other line off. Luckily, we got him on this one. Oh, good fish! <laughs> oh. And there you can see rainbow trout. What a conger eel. Wow. And he also drips all over your sleeve and up your, up your <laughs> armpit and everywhere. Lovely. Don't feel him now. Oh, here he is. There we go. There's our man. Oh, yeah, go on. Get, get <laughs> yes, Dad. It's not a big one, but it's uh, on. acceptable. I don't think it's a dogfish. Maybe it is. Maybe he's come uh, off. It might be a doggy. Do you reckon? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, small conger. Small conger, yeah. I'd say. Spinning. Spinning and coming up easily. Four pounds, 12 ounces, but we'll take it. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, it's uh, a conga. Yeah. And nine other lines. Uh, oh, happy days. Actually, he's not that small. No, he's actually good. Oh, he's he just come, come off. off yeah, yeah. That was number three, was it? On the trout, yeah. Trout strikes again. Trout strikes again. And yeah, look at the skin it. still on there. It's so tough. Yeah. That's a conga's mouth that couldn't still strip that skin. We have to cut this hook off. <laughs> not the hook, the skin. We have to cut the skin off the hook to get it out. It's so tough, it's unbelievable. Even there, look how thin where the skin is. You've not got loads on the hook, and it's no, still not just pulling off. Look it once in the middle. There's, there's life there. Life I'm gym. not clear of this oh, one. You know if he picks it up, we'll get him anyway. Listen, Mac. He's going to get it. Oh, nice mackerel. Uh, no, swing him in. Don't, don't just, just keep him coming slowly. Take it on the rod. Oh man, that's a big. Yeah, that's a pan cooker. Hey, that's a he's cooker. In. He's in with the tangle, but he's there. Nice one. Try and tangle first. Yeah. Okay, I think we can cook this one, Dad. He's good, Matt. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> well, we've caught the fish of choice that we wanted to catch today. Mackerel. Nice mackerel there. And I think we're going to decide in a minute which way it's going to be cooked over in the woods. But really pleased that we've got this fish now. And we've still got over half a day left of fishing. Something's kicking, Dad. I reckon it's like a wrasse, you know. What oh, is it's that? a black bream. Oh, yes, getting that in. Oh, nice one. That's nice one, one, nice one. Black bream, come on. In the boat. Yeah! There we go. So, Brett, black bream, which I had baked. Look at that. Nice fish. This is getting me. He's got lots of spikes on them. That's a that's quite a nice black bream. That's a nice one. That's a good black bream there. They've they got spikes up here on the dorsal fin as well. The gill cover. Quite a lot of spikes on these little fellas. They're, they're, yeah. they're, e they're nice eating fish, so. They're a top eater, that one, yeah. That's ideal. And that's a keeper as well. Yep. Get in with the mackerel. Might have a black room. Yeah, no, it's kicking up on that. No, it's a dogfish. Doggy, yeah. It did, didn't it? Oh, it's that spare hook. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but the rod seems to be pulling over quite a bit, the pen rod. It might. Oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is there anything there? Look at the size of it. It's good, good. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> oh, no. I couldn't get it off the bottom. It might They're just be a dog these little pen rods. If you, if you play it right. You've got to keep it low, haven't you? You've got to keep yeah, it low. Yeah, don't pull back and bend it too much. That's... If you go right like there, yeah. it goes sharp, you're going to break it. Any acute angle and you snap the tip. It's probably, probably a dogfish, but 
Hey, listen, the fish is a fi uh, fish is kicking for dogfish. I don't know if we've had a dogfish on a pen rod, Dad. This could be a This could challenge. be a first. This could be a pen rod challenge. Yeah. New one for the challenge. They said it was impossible to land a conga on a pen rod, so we're going to say this is a dogfish, just in case. <laughs> that lead's a Lead, yeah, rolling. I can hear it. Right. Well, he's moving, he's moving. Now, the, the downside is, I haven't really been able to set the hook, so the, you could get him up, and we've just got no pressure on it, so he could just pull, pop right out, you know. I want to see it now. I'd say it got to be a dogfish, surely. The reel's making some strange squawking, <laughs> squawking noises. We do change the line on the reels, don't we? Because they have pretty questions. Oh, every lines. 10 years, yeah. <laughs> no, when the pen rods come with some really cheapy line. Yeah, it's cheap. yeah don't it's, use it when you, when you get so a So put your own line on if you get one. <gasps> this is, this could be first, I'm telling you. You're I'm kidding me? No, you reckon it's could conga? Be. It could be. No. I just saw some head shakes in. No. Oh, no, that's, I don't see that being a dog. You reckon that's a conga? Well, it is a pen rod. I suppose it could be a small dog. Yeah, it's probably a pouty. <laughs> oh, I see something. Oh, oh, no it's way. A you reckon it's a conga? Yeah, I reckon it is. A very long dogfish. That is the first time I think we've had a conga on a dogfish. It's a conga yeah, it's a on a conga. dogfish. No way, on a pedron. Are we going to get the show? They won't believe us till they see yeah, it. Yeah, that the is ridiculous. You'd never have landed a different size conger if it was on there, like a bigger one. It's spinning like crazy. Oh, so what? He's just nicked. That is awesome. Oh, there you go. Good job he's the right size. That is awesome. My problem is got to watch the weight there. Absolutely got to watch the weight. Yeah, I've got to watch that one over. Let's move this. Come on, come on. The pen rod. Hey, the Penrod Conga! A Penrod Conga! <laughs> and one in the kisser as well! Get in, Dad! I love it! A tiny rod! Like the, the fish is bigger than the rod! Look at the tip, it's about to break there! <laughs> Shows you what you can do, guys! There's anglers and there's danglers! That is awesome! There's a tap there. there we go, there's a tap! It could be us, the boat bumping though! Yeah, it's just bumping! What we got, Dad? I'm getting spooled out. Listen, it's, it's like a strangled parrot. <laughs> wow! This is, I can tell you now. This is a big jumbo mac. No, this is a big ray. You reckon? No, this is a big no. ray. What you got, Dad? Something's on. This one is B I G. He's been stripping lion out on He's the still, rod. Sounds like a strangled parrot when this drag goes. <laughs> this is sort of pack up time again. Well, it's it? the last rod yeah. to pack up. We were just going to pull for mackerel on the way home. That's got good wind oh, in it. I can't get it. I'm it's pretty sure in the water. it's plain. It's a ray. I'm 99 sure it's a ray. Have we had a ray on the pen rod yet? No, it's a double. Oh, oh, he's off. No, we didn't get to see it. He's come off. Oh, oh no. what do you reckon? It was 100. It was a ray. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, it just to came see. off. What a shame. That was a good fish. That was. That had it a real bend like on it. That eight, ten pounds, something to, like that. I have to come back for that fish. That was awesome. Shame. Shows you that the rod it's, didn't break. No, they can take it. The hook's it. pulled out. I know exactly what's happened. That was the last rod in the water. Last as well. rod to wind in, yeah. That's what they say in it. Ain't over till it's over. Yeah. There's the bait gonna be left. Probably just a hook pull. No, nothing broke, nothing just pulled off, just pulled hook pulled. Not exactly a high retrieve ratio on, no. these, <laughs> on these reels. We're just gonna get it all back. There oh, you yeah, go. Alert, yeah. Mashed up. Crashed up. Yeah. Typical that a ray does, it just smashes a bait up with his jaws like that. Just had the conga, a piece, a chunk of fresh prime rainbow trout. Listen, I don't hook it through here. Of course I used to and thread it all the way up. The skin on here is unbelievably tough. I've started doing this, just hooking it, because there's not a big tide here. It'll get through the skin, straight through the middle. Then if a conga eats this way, he can get to the hook. If he eats that way, he can get to the hook. If I put the hook at the top, by the way, oh, behind you. Oh, 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 oh. Get him, 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 get Ooh. Oh, oh my God. come on, baby. Is he off? Do no, he's on. No, I've got to pump him up. Smooth now. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth as a word. He's up, he's up. Heads nice up. and smooth. We don't know that. Some guy, the guys, they sometimes just come off. He can't help it. It depends. He, he's on. He's up off the ground. That's the main thing. I just want to get the head up of the conga. I can't see the monitor. Hold on. It's gone slack. No, no there's something there. There's a doggy. No, it's a conga. 
Yes. Now we've got a sharp one, that's why. <laughs> you might spit out, watch the lead down and come back and get there. There you go, keep the lead over there. Around the hook. There's two hooks, the other hooks, he's got the other hook. Should we try and get him in? Yeah, swim straight up. There we go. Number two. There's a panel hook and it's inside, so just watch him. Oh, he's got a second hook, yeah? Yeah, second hook's inside. Nice. Good show. Two in two minutes. <laughs> Got another fish on boys, it's gone a little bit quiet. I've got a feeling it's a dogfish. And not even my lines like I normally get. I've got your line, the lines from the guy fishing over there. So we're getting a lot of tide now come through. I've got a feeling it's a dogfish, but I'll take anything. It's only on this light spinning rod, because a lot of the time, guys, you don't need, look, 15 pounds. It's like a carp fishing rod in the UK. That's your favorite white rod. Yeah, or the old kanji, yeah. white kanji. God, I've had some fish on this now. This will be a dogfish for sure. Twang, pausing in case it's a big spotted ray and it is indeed doggy. a doggy. There's a bit of action, look. The yeah. tiny hooks, I'm fishing for small fish. Straight pattern oster rig. And there you go, does the job. And he's just, look, just nicked in the jaw there. Those little small hooks about size four freshwater hook, semi barbless. Brilliant. Very, very sharp. He's safe for another day. Oh, yeah, some sort of mackerel where it's kicking. No, it's Congo. Not Might be up. a small one. Just remember that's not waterproof. Yeah. It's not kicking like a Congo, you know. Might be a dog. He's in a snag for ages, wasn't it? Might be a doggy. Small Congo. Yeah. No, he's not that small. Oh, well, we were lucky to get that in. Come number in, number four. four. Your time is up. There we go. Well done. That's good. good show. That's a bonus. Yeah, he's that. He's got that well. Yeah, but I have, he's only just going now.